and welcome to the Estes Park News Weekend Report. I'm Chris Hazelton. Last Friday, July 11th, park staff was notified of a lightning strike on U Crossing Trail in Rocky Mountain National Park. Eight people were affected by the lightning strike with a variety of injuries. All of the people were hiking and were returning to the trailhead when lightning struck in the area. Sadly, one woman from Ohio died from her injuries. Then again on Saturday, July 12th, park rangers were notified of a lightning strike that occurred near Rainbow Curve. Rangers responded to four injured people who were taken to Estes Park Medical Center via ambulance, yet again, tragically, one man succumbed to his injuries. Park rangers and staff and EPMC ambulance and emergency room staff did their best to help all of these people, yet sadly, two deaths occurred. With these two tragic lightning strike deaths, we wanted to share a few tips about safety during a lightning storm. Remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. Also, it's important to know that no place outside is safe when thunderstorms are in the area. When you hear thunder, immediately move to a safe shelter or an enclosed metal top vehicle with the windows up. If you're caught outside with no safe shelter anywhere nearby, immediately get off elevated areas such as hills, mountain ridges, or peaks and never lie flat on the ground or shelter under an isolated tree and don't use a cliff or rocky overhang for shelter. Immediately get out and away from ponds, lakes, and other bodies of water and seek a vehicle for safety or some other type of shelter. The best thing to do is know the weather patterns of the area you are visiting. In mountainous areas, thunderstorms typically develop in the early afternoon, so plan to hike early in the day and be down the mountain by noon. Listen to the weather forecast for the area you plan to visit, and if there's a high chance of thunderstorms, stay inside. Tonight's the night for the 13th annual Relay for Life here in Estes Park. The Relay is a life-changing event that brings people together to celebrate the lives of those who have battled cancer and remember loved ones lost to the disease. The Relay kicks off at the Estes Park High School Stadium Friday night with registration beginning at 5 p.m. You can register online and either join a team or form your own team. For more information, visit estesparkrelay.org. For more information, you can visit estesparkrelay.org. If you can't participate, you can still make a tax-deductible donation via the website estesparkrelay.com. Please join them in finding a cure for cancer. The Uptones, Brad Fitch, Mark Rashid, and Brad Duggett will perform a concert honoring their former bandmate Dick Orleans at the Elk Meadow Lodge, 1665 Highway 66, this Saturday at 7 p.m. The late Dick Orleans was a well-known musician and wildlife photographer in Estes who passed away suddenly in May. Dick was a friend to many as well as a gifted photographer, especially interested in photographing pikas in Rocky Mountain National Park. With funds raised at the concert, the Elk Tones will make a donation to the Pika Project through the Craighead Institute, a nonprofit organization with a long history of ecological research. Orleans worked with the Pika Project for the past five years, and all are welcome to join in the July 19th celebration. A $5 entry fee will be charged at the door. Murder, explosions, spies, love, and other Alfred Hitchcock trademarks come to life on the Bald Part Inn Cathedral stage. Enjoy the slightly off, laced with humor, triple feature of Vintage Hitchcock, a live radio play presented by the Bald Pate Inn and the Fine Arts Guild of the Rockies. Live sound effects and musical underscoring will heighten the suspense and psychological tension that Hitchcock pioneered. Vintage Hitchcock, a live radio play will be performed this weekend and next at the Bald Pate Inn. Tickets are available at the door or contact the Bald Paid Inn at events at baldpaidin.com or call 970-586-KEYS. Dinner and group packages are also available. Join them for an evening or afternoon of the unique, strange, sometimes troubling charm that made Hitchcock famous. And now, here's Chloe Libby with your weekend weather forecast. On Friday, we're going to enjoy temperatures in the high 70s with mostly sunny skies and an only a 10% chance of rain. Saturday and Sunday look to be just about the same with highs in the 70s or low 80s with a good chance of afternoon thunderstorms. We've entered in the monsoonal portion of the summer where we experience afternoon storms just about every day, so keep those umbrellas handy. Keep your eyes out for those lightning storms and try to get your outdoor activities in early in the day. Have a great weekend. 
This week, we leave you with some beautiful photos by Jim and Juan Eastward of just some of the wonderful wildlife in and around Estes Park. That's it for this week. I'm Chris Hazelton. Have a great weekend, and we'll welcome you back here next week. <laughs>